time live. Remember, you can watch us live on onespotmedia.com or you can catch snippets of the program on televisionjamaica.com. Be sure to join in on the conversation. Hashtag TVJD. I'm sorry, hashtag what? Yeah, hashtag this or hashtag this. Okay. But listen, <laughs> this next discussion, I don't, I, I can't tell you how, how serious it is. You're very passionate And I'm very this. passionate about it because I experience it every day. But customer service in this country. But we have Yannick who will be telling us some possible solutions yes, of hope Yannick. you can help us. Yes. Because this is this is a terrible, terrible, terrible yes. thing. A terrible experience every day. Yes. Welcome to Daytime Live, Yannick. Hard to get that Thank out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yes. You're right. I can see you're okay. very passionate. No, I, I, I can't he, he's very man. passionate. Yannick, tell us what are you doing? What are you doing to help us in Jamaica to have better customer service? Oh my God. What are you doing? So my company, Professional Training and Occupational Services, is a customer development organization primarily focused on building team members within the organization, building leaders. We do market research like mystery shopping. So we'll send in our mystery shoppers to your organization because remember, a lot of companies think they give great service, but then when a mystery shopper is going, yes. it's a completely different experience. Yes. And we also do customer satisfaction yes. surveys. So... so how how popular are you here in Jamaica? I ask that because I don't see a lot of persons necessarily caring, in my view, everybody, okay? I don't see a lot of persons necessarily caring mm -hmm. or, or about to what, or trying to fix the yes, issues with yes. customer service. So are you popular, well-known? Are you doing... How saturated are you in the community here in Jamaica? Well, we do a lot of business. We've been in operation for about nine years now. Nine I do a years. lot of public um, sector organizations. Uh -huh. I do a lot of private sector companies. I found in the private sector, I'm more popular in the financial sector. Mm -hmm. Possibly because it's so saturated and they're all fighting for the same customers. Right. So because of that, the only thing that can separate them is the service that they give. Okay. Right. So we are right. popular. And I mean, okay. when you talk about customer service and who can give you the best customer experience mm -hmm. training, PTOS is who you'll hear, yeah. you know, across the board. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I hope. Well, clearly, everybody needs to use PTOS. Uh, yeah, that, that that company. But what I'm <laughs> what I'm getting at is, in terms of the training that you're offering, um, at what le what what are the levels of it? And you know, you mentioned the, you mentioned uh, financial sectors. Mm -hmm. But I find that a lot of work, why do, you don't you don't do fast food chains because I realize that that's where majority of this cost, poor customer service experience. Just we, the other day, I was at one of them. I won't name anybody, and I'm so sorry I can't name it because I can't. <laughs> And it was swing and all of that, but we we simply asked what was used in a drink because it it was it was rather sweet, but there was right. no sugar in it. Right. And she didn't know what was in it. And if you don't know what was in it, you just say I don't know. You don't shrug and move off. And that's a pro that's a problem faced by a lot of a lot of people who go to shop. And I think sometimes people don't understand that. If if you don't if, if your customers aren't satisfied okay if your customers come in if you don't have customers rather you don't have a work mm, you don't have no business. and I don't I think couple, why why are you not in the first place you okay you okay no man please go please go passionate I can hear it I can hear it it's okay it's okay it's okay so um so but what we found though you know it's a good point that you brought up yeah. in the fast food restaurant business um the turnover tends to be very, very high. high the attrition is high. And so the business owners, from what I've found, the research that I've done, is that they don't want to invest the money in training the team members. That's it, that's it. And then within three to four months, they're gone. But then the flip side of that is don't train them. And then they come to work and do what they feel like. Yeah. yeah so which do you really want? Okay. Yeah. And then I think the other side of it is, us as Jamaicans, regardless of the bad service, we still yeah. go back to these restaurants. Because yeah, we're hungry. So for persons who... <laughs> but you know what it is I find, and, and, and please let me know if this is accurate. I find that here in Jamaica, we don't necessarily have a lot of competition. You know, for example, you have these big, co big companies, I'm just saying Digital Flow, whatever. You only have limited options you either choose this one or this one or you only have one mm -hmm. so sometimes you find that they don't necessarily need to improve because they're like so what are you gonna do you know why do you need to improve that's not true there what other option do you have there, do you understand what i'm yeah, saying yeah i see where you're coming mm -hmm. from but there is competition it's getting and, there not and the everything. reality is as as um as your co-host said it's not when you have a customer that leaves are satisfied that does not guarantee loyalty that's right so i can leave here satisfied today but it doesn't guarantee i'll come back to you again right. another day right and so you really have to invest in developing your team members yeah. we were all socialized differently yeah we may have learned the basic things like good morning good afternoon yeah. please thank you you're welcome sometimes that's asking a lot but sometimes are we you practicing go you it good morning and they go yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a response. Because again, it, you know, it's, you know? Basic, it's basic things. You know, for the theatrics, so I'm kind of calm now. But in terms of improving it, 
what are some of the at least three ways um after your techniques that you use to have this type of service you know become better you know what, well, what's it that you do the first thing is that we believe that leadership is where it starts from so that's leadership so One, poor mm-hmm. customer service is driven by the leaders, leaders. So the head correct Right, so you need to walk staff. the talk, correct? Right. You know, right. mm-hmm. and then the second is you need to ensure that you are constantly coaching your team members. So that's coaching. Mm-hmm. So you need to constantly have conversations with them. It doesn't mean you need to hire a coach that you know pay two thousand US a I month. I was going to say because some no, businesses can't, can't afford no. that. No, I mean it's just basic conversations that you need to have with them. Remind mm-hmm. them, and there's no job that's too menial for you as a leader that you're that that's where you're asking doing. your team members to do that, that you that's cannot right. do on your own. That's, that's where a where I was going. sign of a good leader. Yeah, is that yeah, you're Involved. I have no. been to I have been um, you know I miss the fact that we do have some serious um issues where that is concerned. Mm-hmm. I've been to places that would have considered their jobs menial. They get the pump, a pump attendant. I had two pump attendants, me and my big friend, WhatsApp and all of that because they were so they were nice, so they were job. so decent, they were so good at their job. Yeah. And, so you we know, have it's really good. We have two. So yeah. we have leadership, yeah, coaching, right? And we have coaching. So what's the third? Yeah. The third one is you need to let your team members feel special and like human beings. Oh, right. I think respect. the big part of why mm-hmm. customer service is so poor in Jamaica is yeah. that a lot of the organizations internally, yeah. people don't really like their job and they don't like their yeah. company. They don't like yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ask them, you know, up to yesterday I did a presentation. I don't want to call the company's name, but I asked the young lady, why are you doing what you're doing? Mm-hmm. And she said she didn't know. I mean, do you need to ask yourself that question. You yeah. guys are hosts on TV. Do you enjoy what you're doing? And yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Love it. We know why we do it. <laughs> we know, we know, because, and I'm happy you mentioned that because, again, you might not necessarily, you're, you're in a job, you might not necessarily like it, you might be just doing it for the money or whatever reasons. But it will but come across that's a great reason to do it, it as come, well. No, I know, but it yeah. will come across that way and then you have the ripple effect of poor customer service all the time. Yeah. You have to know what you're doing. You have yeah. to know what you're passionate about. You have to know about the culture of the company as well. If somebody come, you know, comes into your store or to yeah. your firm or whatever and you don't know what is taking place in there, then something is obviously something wrong. Is I think everybody true. should yeah. know. You mentioned coaching. Very, very important. You should know about it, the organization. Right. You don't know where you might go. Somebody might ask you something. Of you know, course. If, they're, if they're a trained to answer, then it becomes a problem. So I have a question. How often, you say coaching within a company, mm-hmm. how often would you say some, they should have their coaching? Once per week. Ooh, okay. Constant okay. conversation. Okay. I think it's better to over-communicate right, than, than to under-communicate. Yeah. Because... You know, Sorry, I'm sorry. You go ahead. I want Under to communication is going to lead to people doing their own thing, I'm perception, interpretation. Yeah. And the reality is common yeah. sense is not common. Yeah. And so <laughs> my <laughs> perception yes. of what things should be may not, may be not my, necessarily be what you, exactly. I understand. But something else I find with the, the, the climate here in Jamaica when it comes to working is that a lot of people that's working for a particular company, you don't see your future within that company. True. So they're not making it clear. So let's say if I'm the pump attendant today, I don't know, guys, just bear with me. Let's say if you're doing this job today, you'd like to think that maybe in two years you could be doing this job. Or be managing and the same gas station three or something. Years you're doing, you know what I mean? So Correct. there's kind of some, some kind of upward mobility where that doesn't seem to be the case here. We don't have a, a structure in place that you can work your way up. Mm-hmm. So then you are in it for the long term. So you want to know about the company. Correct. Whereas if I'm working here just for now and maybe in six months I'm gone, then maybe I'm not going to want to invest as much. Well, you have, have to give commendations to some places who allow that atmosphere, you mm-hmm. know, where you can yeah. work up your way and stuff like that. Correct. You have, you have some who really... And it's not even about working up your way. Let's say you are my employee and I sit down with you and I said to you, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? What do you really like doing? Yeah. Let's say you are, you really, you love fashion. Like every day I see you come to work, you're very well put together. The latest fashion, even the most um, basic outfits, you tend to transform yeah, the them thing, yeah. and just make them look amazing. Yeah. I can help you transform into exactly. that. Yeah. So you may stay at my company for two years, but I've helped you accomplish what it is that you are really meant to be yes, on this to earth get a to do. Bit more focus. Yes. Correct. Thank you. So but, much, yeah, I'm so, I Thank so you appreciate to remember the coaching, yeah. uh, what's it, what's leadership, leadership, leadership coaching, coaching, and constant dialogue. Very, very important. Respect, yes. You know, we have to we have to keep it in check. But daytime live will be right back. Okay.